Hey good people and welcome back to the channel. On yesterday, I watched a movie on Tubi called One More Stop. This is a movie that was on the request list. And if I had to rate the movie on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a solid 5. There were some things in the movie that worked for me, and there are some things that didn't work. So over the course of the review, I'll give a brief summary of the movie, I'll talk about some of the things that I liked, as well as some of the things that I did not like. And without any further delay, let's jump right in. The movie One More Stop is a buddy comedy hood movie, and it primarily follows the character JJ. JJ is best friends with Q, and they both work in construction together. The movie follows the misadventures of JJ as he attempts to capitalize on an offer made by a character named Toothpick. JJ is given a chance to break his streak and give a God-fearing Christian lady that good old pickle tickle. But he encounters several issues along the way. So when I saw this movie, very early on it was clear that the movie got some inspiration from the movie Friday. Both movies follow the story of a main character and his best friend as they navigate through a bunch of challenges within a 24 hour period. The movie Friday is hailed as a classic within the realm of black cinema and that could be for several reasons. One, the movie had a cast filled with well-known actors who spent decades in comedy and the entertainment industry. Two, the movie had solid writing, especially to be a movie that showcases a concise and cohesive story that occurs within a 24 hour period. And three, the movie had a production budget of three and a half million dollars, which means that the production had more than enough money to be visually appealing to its viewers. So I wanna start off by saying that I, in no way, I'm trying to hold the movie one more stop to the same standards as Friday, but I would like to see more independent movies show that they can be just as good if not better than a lot of mainstream movies out there. With that being said, I think that the movie One More Stop had several great things going for it. First, I think that the pacing was good. The runtime for this movie was a little over an hour long, and for the story that was told, I think that the runtime perfectly complemented the movie's pacing. I liked the editing and camera work for the movie because it felt like a solid production. And lastly, I liked that at the heart of this movie, you have a character in JJ who was having the worst luck in the world when it comes to just getting a little trim. And a lot of crazy things happen to him over the course of the movie. Some of these events are funny and other events are completely relatable, such as getting your car towed out of nowhere or having a girl cancel a cheek clapping session after you thought you were seconds away from taking a dip into her love pudding. What I think could be a good and not so good aspect for the movie One More Stop is that to me, it comes off as a niche comedy. What I mean by that is that in my opinion, some people will completely love this movie and other people might not be feeling it. From my vantage point, there were a lot of scenes in the movie that were either partially ad-libbed or improv. And I think that these techniques could work best when either used sparingly throughout a movie or by actors that can bring that grade A comedic material off the top of their head. There were also some scenes in the movie that had me questioning what the heck I was watching. For example, in the very beginning of the movie, we see JJ getting a call and being reminded that he has to get to work. We then see a montage of JJ working out, flexing in the mirror, and admiring himself while he's getting ready to go to work. As JJ is about to leave the house for work, he randomly decides to turn on the TV and get a swerve onto a movie starring West Coast Productions finest actresses like Cherokee, Pinky, and Jada Fire. Before the chicken choking commences, JJ decides to take a break and go get some lotion. And then a character named Unk enters the home. He sees the porn playing on the TV and tries to get his swerve on without wondering if anybody else is still in the house. To me, a scene like this could have worked if it was done after JJ had finished work and Unk came in on him while he's getting busy. Scenes like this have been done in other movies, but I think that this movie could have put their own spin on it and made it iconic. And lastly, I wanna reiterate that in my opinion, exceptional storytelling can elevate movies like this. When watching the movie One More Stop, I found myself wanting to learn more about JJ, such as his backstory, why he didn't have much luck with the ladies, and explore his relationship with his friends and family a little more deeper. A two minute flashback scene of JJ as a child being rejected by girls and made fun of could have been a good setup for this. I also wanted to see an ending where JJ got to clap the cheeks, feel like a brand new man for a few minutes, and still get his hind parts whipped by Unk. But as I said before, I think that some folks will absolutely love this movie 
and some folks might not. As a person who loves watching independent movies, I definitely see potential in this movie and I hope that the director continues to come out with more movies in the future. But this marks the end of my review. If you have any comments related to the review or the movie, feel free to leave them below in the comment section and I'll be sure to apply to everybody. Until next time, stay tuned and stay safe. Peace.